unlocking the wealth tied up in your property without moving. Sounds intriguing, right? Stick around as we delve into the equity release process. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Equity release refers to a range of products that allow you to access the equity or cash tied up in your home. You must be over 55 to be eligible for these products. There are two main types of equity release, lifetime mortgages and home reversion. Lifetime mortgages are the most popular type, where you take out a mortgage secured on your property while retaining ownership. With home reversion, you sell part or all of your home to a home reversion provider. You have the right to live there rent-free until you die, but you are no longer the owner. The first step in the equity release process is to seek professional advice. A financial advisor will help you understand the options available to you. Next, you will discuss your needs and circumstances with your advisor. They will recommend a product that suits your situation. Once you've decided on a product, your advisor will help you apply. A valuation of your property will be carried out as part of this process. The next step is legal work. You need to hire a solicitor to handle the legal side of the equity release. Once the legal work is done, you will sign contract. The funds will then be released to you. It's important to note that the amount you can release depends on your age, health, and the value of your property. The older you are and the higher the value of your property, the more money you can release. Remember that equity release isn't right for everyone. It's a big decision and it can affect your tax position and entitlement to state benefits. The equity release process can take six to eight weeks from start to finish. But this can vary depending on your circumstances. It's also crucial to remember that there are costs involved. These include advisor fees, solicitor fees and possibly a fee for the equity release product itself. And just like any loan, the money you release plus any interest will need to be repaid. With a lifetime mortgage, this is typically when you die or move into long-term care. With a home reversion plan, the provider will sell your home when you die or move into care. They will then take their percentage from the sale proceeds it's important to consider all the pros and cons before deciding on equity release. It might be worth looking at other options like downsizing or using savings. One last thing. Equity release schemes are regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. This means that you have certain protections in place. Don't rush into anything. Take your time to understand all the implications of equity release. Always remember, releasing equity from your home is a long-term commitment. Think carefully, take professional advice, and consider your options. Thank you for watching this video on the equity release process. Remember, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated and helps us continue to produce informative content like this.